we love hearing from you. And you can call the show 24-7 on the phone like they did in the day at 844-52-SHERI. That's 844-52-SHERI. Or you can download our app. It's free in the Google Play and Apple stores. And um, when you get it, you can listen to the show and all the podcasts and enter contests and text the studio and... You can tap the microphone in the bottom center of the screen and talk, and the app will do the rest. Okay, so first off, I'm a little behind because I got wrapped up in an audio book, so I'm only on the episode from the 17th. Just listen to the Ken song. As I'm currently driving from work on a Monday to the movie theater to watch the Barbie movie, which never in my life did I ever expect, um, I have a 6-year-old daughter, 14-year-old son, and 16-year-old son, and I'm not going with the 6-year-old daughter. My 16-year-old son went with his friend, um, a girl, on Saturday, calling me sobbing after watching the Barbie movie, saying I had to see it. It was extremely important that I saw it. It meant the world to him. Now the 14-year-old, after speaking to the 16-year-old, says he wants to see it. So I don't know what is in this Barbie movie, but never, never in my life did I think... On a Monday night, after working all day as a nurse, that I would be driving to the Barbie movie with my two teenage boys. But here I go. Wish me luck. For the record, I hated Barbies growing up. I was more into outdoors and mud and dirt and bugs and frogs and lizards. So, um, yeah, I always hated the color pink as well. So, wow, life, life takes some big, big turns. Hopefully, I'll give you an update in a few hours. Which me luck. Hi, Baba Cherry. So, <laughs> this is the girl that called earlier about the Barbie movie. And the answer is, I am emotionally just wrecked. Just absolutely emotionally wrecked. And I can't believe I'm saying this because I've hated Barbies my whole life. But hands down, that is probably one of my favorite movies I've ever seen. And I sobbed like a baby like death gripping both of my teenagers' hands as my oldest teenager bald like a baby next to me. So, yeah, um, the Barbie movie's fantastic. Again, can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth. And my world's changed. So I hope you guys all have a good day, and I hope you guys watch it. Just, you know, be prepared. Lots of tissues. Thank you, guys. You guys are all amazing. And please, for the love of God, please have Lamar go see this. Because this is, this is the almighty 12-pack. Um, uh, if Lamar we had a will... vacation to give away, you know, if all of a sudden we had a vacation to give away, I would have to give it to her. That woman needs to have a seven days some, alone some and time. being left the hell alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and soft foods that she doesn't have to worry about chewing. Yeah. No, I feel you, sis. Um, Lamar will review Barbie. So here's the deal with the People's Movie Critic. Um, if you missed us, we mentioned it a couple of days ago. Lamar's daughter lives in Japan. She's married and yeah. lives in Japan and has children. And that's mm-hmm. where they live. And it's very far away on the other side of the world. And Lamar and Carla don't get to go to Japan very often. And they're there right now spending some time with um, Lamar's daughter and their grandchildren. So when the people's movie critic gets back stateside, he will review Oppenheimer and Barbie and everything else that is coming up. My, my daughter, Olivia, Bob, um, called me on, I guess it was Monday night and said, mom, have you seen the Barbie movie yet? I'm like, no, not yet. I'm, I'm trying to get to it. And she's like, you have to go. She said, it's going to destroy you you're going to be like a puddle because I loved Barbies when I was little. And of course I wanted my daughters to love Barbies and Mm -hmm. they just, it's a different time and they played with their Barbies, but they weren't Barbie crazy like I was. But then again, they didn't live in the woods with no media and no playmates. So maybe, you know, I had more reason to invest in Barbie, but Olivia said it's funny and it's emotional and you're just going to be, You're just going to be broken by it because this is, she said that they made this movie for people like you that like just grew up, like all wrapped up in Barbie. I cannot wait to see it. Well, I saw it. And uh, if Lamar is going to review it and that should be interesting going to see it in Japan, huh? Um, I don't want to do a review. I just want to give my opinion. 
It's one of the best movies that I've seen in years. It is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. I've I've often said my my fi- I think the funniest movie I ever made was my big fat Greek wedding. I also think that uh, Bridesmaids was hysterical, all all female driven as the Barbie movie is. The Barbie movie is flat out loud laugh funny. Um, I'm not going to give anything away. I'm just going to point out a couple of things, if you haven't seen it yet, to watch out for. Number one, the last few words of the movie are the most surprising words that came out of the blue that I've ever heard in any movie. The idea that she's driving a pink Corvette and I guess you had those little pink Corvettes you could buy as, you know, where you could put one and a half kids in it and they had a little battery. So I'd, I'd seen the preview and um, Barbie is in the pink Corvette and her head is above this, the steering wheel. That's because it kind of looks like one of those kid cars that goes two miles an hour, which is his <laughs> stare. When she goes through the town, she's going two miles an hour. It's hysterical. That's funny. It is so funny. Uh, Margot Robbie, I mean, I'm in awe. I, I have kind of a little crush on her. She's beautiful. She's got a killer body, but she's a terrific actress and a funny one, too. And uh, Ryan plays uh, Ken perfectly. It's. Uh, I, I, I thought that was going to be a throwaway. It is not. It's fantastic. Uh, Kate McKinnon is it, the entire cast is just fantastic. There are moments where you go, oh, I didn't expect them to go there. And one of those moments, and I, I'm going to tell you about it. It's it's not going to change your experience whatsoever. She is uh, she goes back and forth between reality and Barbie land. And in first time she experiences reality. She and Ken all of a sudden are on the beach in California, in Venice Beach. And she's walking along with a really hot looking uh, pink outfit on. I mean, it's very tight, very Barbie. And construction guys are going, hey, baby. Hey, baby, how's it? Mm, Come on, give us a look over here. Well, in Barbie land, she never experienced anything like that. And Ken, of course, is not just Ken. He's and Ken. He's always and Ken. And now he's in a place where guys dominate called the real world. And uh, they're walking by the guys that are going, mm, 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 come here, baby, give me a kiss. And he says, you know, I'm starting to feel more comfortable. And there's a beat. And she's saying, I'm starting to feel a lot less comfortable. And I thought, that was such an interesting little social comment to make in the movie. Now, there are some people that see things like that in the Barbie movie, and they're going, oh, look at this. Feminism has gone too far. and all That's Forget that. Forget that. I think anybody can laugh at this movie. And I wasn't the only guy in there. Mary had to work. I, I was not the only guy in the theater. Uh, the theater was packed. It was packed with all ages and was packed with a bunch of guys. And some of them were wearing pink shirts. So it, it's a terrific experience. I obviously had nothing to do with the Barbie world. My kids were not into Barbies for whatever reason. And uh, my, I, was, I left the house before my sister, you know, got into the Barbie era in her life. So I walk in there as a civilian and I'm, I'm just in awe of what Hollywood did with um, the backgrounds, uh, the animation, the what actors. What Greta Gerwig did. What, she, Greta Gerwig what a director. Did. What a director. Unbelievable. 